All right, everybody, this is Chaplain Bob Walker, Light of the World Ministries. Turn your Bible to Matthew chapter 1. We're going to take a look at verse 18. Now the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise, when as his mother Mary was espoused to Joseph, before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Ghost. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man and not willing to make her a public example, was minded to put her away privately. So basically, when you're espoused, uh, that's where you get, you know, it's a, the root word of spouse. Uh, even though they were promised to each other, they were considered married, even though they had not consummated the marriage, if you know what I mean. She was still a virgin. Uh, but he sees her with a kid. And he didn't want to make an example of her. Of course, back in the Old Testament days, they would have stoned her. You know. So he's minded to put her away privately. Uh, divorce her, right? Verse 20. But while he thought on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Yeshua. Uh, no. An angel named him Jesus. Well, under God the Father's authority, of course. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Now all this was done that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us. We're going to go to uh, Isaiah 7 in a second here. Then Joseph, being raised from sleep, did as the angel of the Lord had bidden him, and took unto him his wife. And he knew her not till... She had brought forth her firstborn son, and he called his name Yeshua HaMashiach. No, Jesus. Jesus. That's the name that devils tremble at. They don't tremble at Yeshua. You watch, people. You watch. When the uh, man of sin, the son of perdition, the Antichrist, the beast comes, what do you want to make a bet? And I'm not talking about the lottery. But I'm I'm positive they're going to be calling that. Oh, even Yeshua has come. Oy vey. So, you watch. Mark my words. Yeshua. That's what they're going to call him. All right, Isaiah 7 and verse 13. No, 11. Verse 11. Well, let's go to 10. Isaiah 7, verse 10. Moreover, the word spake again unto Ahaz, saying, Ask thee a sign of the Lord thy God. Ask it either in the depth or in the height above. But Ahaz said, I will not ask, neither will I tempt the Lord. And he said, Hear ye now, O house of David, is it a small thing for you to weary men? But will ye weary my God also? Verse 14. Therefore, the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin, virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel. And if you got a Bible that says young woman, throw it in the garbage because that's what it is. That's not a Bible. You've got a book that's a commentary by the Antichrist, plural. Therefore the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel. Butter and honey shall he eat that he may know to refuse the evil and choose the good. For before the child shall know to refuse the evil and choose the good, the land that thou abhorrest shall be forsaken of both her kings. 
The Lord shall bring upon thee and upon thy people and upon thy father's house days that have not come from the days that Ephraim departed from Judah, even the king of Assyria. So, the thing is, there was a girl that got pregnant. Uh, I forget her name. But she was in uh, Lima, Peru. She was well under 10 years old. Well under. She got pregnant and gave birth. Yeah. Now, if you got a Bible that says young woman, and uh, if you don't know who's behind the changing the virgin to a young woman, I'll give you a, a, a little hint. Uh, they, have, they, they run around with a six-pointed star. But if you, uh, if you think uh, Mary was just a young woman, well, look up Lena, L-I-N-A, Medina, M-E-D-I-N-A, a Peruvian girl born in 1933. She began menstruating at the age of eight months. At five year old, she was, she was, well, she gave birth at six years, five months old. Six years, and she was six and a half years old. She's the youngest confirmed mother in medical history. And if you think that was a miracle, well, you can think whatever you want. Mary was a virgin. The virgin birth is a very important doctrine. It happened one time in history, and only one time in history, and it was a miracle of the Lord. Lena Medina, I will guarantee you, had help, if you know what I mean. Matter of fact, as far as I know, uh, let's see, I'm not sure if she's still alive or not. Yeah, from what I understand, she's still alive, this woman. She was born in 33. So she is, to the best of my knowledge, she's still, she's still alive. You know, so, all right. Uh, part two. All right, everybody, I guess uh, this is uh, the end of part one, Temple of Doom. I just wanted to get, uh, get the foundation laid. So, all blessings, praise, glory, and honor to God the Father and His only begotten Son, Jesus, who is the Christ, the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. In Jesus' name, amen.